Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Warramai First Nations people and absolute pleasure to have you, your guides, my guides and the universe energies along with us today and aren't the energies buzzing. Okay, what I'm going to have a look at is uh, the term of China and the US decoupling brought about by President Biden announcing the computer chip manufacturing will be brought back to the US, um, which I think is absolutely brilliant. Uh, countries should not be reliant on uh, one other um, source to supply uh, essentials, basically, but also one other source to sell uh, their product to as well. Australia got caught out quite badly a few years back with um, a lot of our products uh, being sold to China. They were our main uh, purchaser. All of a sudden, uh, the Chinese regime, uh, entertainment only, uh, whacked on severe tariffs uh, onto our products. Um, I think it was part of the retaliation against the US tariff um, thing that was going on because Australia sided with the US uh, about Taiwan. Oh, international politics, they're so confusing um, and so complicated. And I think as, as Bo of the Fifth Column puts it, uh, it's like being at a, uh, an international poker table where everyone's bluffing and lying, etc. Um, so Australia was uh, basically said, well, up yours, we're looking for new markets um, and went and diversified our markets of where we uh, send our product, but also where we buy our product from. The US is cu currently undergoing that. Now, I just want to point out that bringing manufacturing back to the US or back to any country, including Australia, is not necessarily going to mean an increase in jobs because um, in that period when since the jobs left and now that uh, the manufacturing has left and now that it's coming back uh, there has been a massive increase in automation so there will be jobs in the um, building of the facilities there will be jobs in the operating and maintenance of the facilities but there won't be the manufacturing jobs that there were in the past so just be aware of that um uh oh it, it, and if you are interested um, and you're not following him already, Bo of the Fifth Column did a really good uh, video this morning. He does little sort of three to eight minute snippet videos um, about the uh, coming recession for the US. And he's, as he's pointed out very clearly, the beginnings of the, U, uh, the recession in the US are, are not the oil crisis, are not COVID, the COVID um shutdowns etc but rather the tariff war between the US and China now I'd actually disagree with that and I'd go back even further and say the the foundations of the recession are set in uh, the Reagan era of Reaganomics uh, where he was a big proponent of trickle down economy anyone who understands the movement of money will understand that trickle down does not work by giving tax breaks to the ultra wealthy by giving f monies to the ultra wealthy in grants etc does not increase uh, the number of jobs does not necessarily increase the number of investment and certainly doesn't increase wages all it does is increase the ability to buy another super yacht and Learjet um, the economies of the world are so better served by providing the monies and the breaks to those in the, the bottom uh, quarter or even third because we know that those that don't have will spend every cent that they uh, have to their disposal and therefore the money is circulating whereas uh, giving breaks to the ultra wealthy won't. Okay, that was a bit of a squirrel moment, or as we would call it in Australia, a quokka moment. And if you don't know what a quokka is, Google it, Q-U-O-K-K-A, the cutest little uh, Australian critter you've ever seen, uh, because we don't have squirrels over here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at uh, this decoupling uh, in regards to China and the US. I'm going to look at it from two sides. I'm using my intuitive... Um, cards now these are cards that Meister and I have created by ourselves uh, that give uh, a story and we will lay out a storyboard with these cards I'll do from the US point of view first and then the China point of view and when we get to the China point of view I'll have a little bit of a blurb in regards to that so sorry if I've waffled too long already we'll see where it goes okay tell me about Okay, guys. Yes, good morning, guys. 
tell me about the let me tell me show me the storyboard from the US point of view about bringing manufacturing back to the US from China manufacturing back to the US of essential requirements I'm seeing that medicines are also going to be brought back the manufacturing of medicines a lot of that at the moment is outsourced to India uh, the supply chain issues during COVID um, disrupted that severely so there was a lack of essential medicines um, because particular ingredients couldn't be sourced and that's what they're having with the computer chips at the moment especially when it comes to vehicle manufacturing there are thousands thousands and thousands of vehicles sitting at the factories ready to go except for uh, one or two vital uh, computer chips that they're trying to get from China and cannot uh, and and supplies being delayed <laughs> this is China lots and lots of people <laughs> um, okay so tell me tell me the story of how how bringing manufacturing back to the US reducing the reliance on Chinese and in the, even India manufacturing is going to be from the US point of view. Show me the story, guys. Show me the story. Yeah. There was a card stuck on the bottom, and that's where we're starting. So let's have a look. That fit. Oh, <laughs> didn't even know what it is, but this is, it's a dragonfly. This is my card for transformation significant transformation and that is what is underway we're looking at a transformation of the how things are done basically so let's see where the story goes so what I do is I lay out a uh, a storyline and then I read it it's telling me one more card on this one and see where it goes. Ooh, that was not something I expected. Okay, what we've got here is, so there's a transformation that's going to happen very quickly. We have this masculine energy, so this is telling me it's going to be, sorry about the, the stereotypical, but it is going to be, this is the word I'm getting, is aggressively. It's going to be the transformation is going to happen very aggressively uh, in a, and the timing is going to be brave and fast. Okay, so this is going to take, take a few by surprise. Thank you. Okay. How, this is going to be a real leap of faith on the US's behalf. There's going to be a lot of money poured into this, but there's also going to be restriction not necessarily imprisonment but they're going to find that there will be some restrictions that need to be overcome okay blank card deliberately blank and this story is not yet written okay these are the initial stages the story is not yet written however love the peace card there the fact that it is not yet written there is a blank canvas and peace now this is about a stable government this is about bringing it back to a stable government position it's going to be very busy very busy into the future <laughs> as they have to divide things into the ins and outs as to what is coming in what is going out division between ins and outs okay I'm not sure whether this card's supposed to be on the next line but we'll have a look so we've got this evil loyalty to evil okay is in the past thank you love that so this loyalty to this this toxic energy is in the past okay
So the, the loyalty to this toxic energy is in the past and some are going to find it um, are not going to be happy because they have been caught up in this loyalty. Okay, this is talking as much about a past US government as, a, as the current Chinese government. It's going to lead to disappointment. Right. Ah, okay, it's going to lead to big disappointment overseas. However, on the home front, there is unity of diversity. This beautiful rainbow is going to be the fate of the US. Unity. It's going to bring unity on the home front. Okay, the health. Right. The health of the US, this will be a drop in the ocean in regards to the health of the US, but it will, it's, it will stop small thinking. There will be this lightning strike of innovation. I like that. I like that card. The glass empty of the rulers are under a black cloud of noise. I'm seeing this. Okay. This is the noisy minority in this deck. So the draining of this glass by past rulers and this black cloud. Ah, will be drowned out. Thank you. Thank you, Meister. These are really positive cards for the US. These are really positive cards. But the health of the US, this is really just a drop in the ocean. But it's going to stop the small-mindedness. There will be this lightning strike of innovation returning to the United States. The complacency is going to be um, find itself under this energy. The draining of the United States economy by these rulers, these dark rulers, these stormy rulers are going to be drowned out. This is, this is good energy. Oh, telling me one more. Okay. So the US is going to be saying no to the comfort of this intertwining. Complacency of this intertwining is the key. So the saying no to the the comfort, the complacency, the indolence, the the lolling about, um, the ease of this intertwinement is going to be the key. It's going to be complicated. There is going to be celebration, but it is going to be a complicated process. It's not easy to uncouple, decouple. And it, it's reliant on the messaging, the strength of the messaging via this cup full for the people themselves. And I've got the go card go it's going to happen it's going to be contracts and agreements it's only going to be positive have the feminine energy coming to the fore okay a lot of this innovation light bulb moments are going to come from the feminine thinking on a global scale base of the pack love rebalancing do you like that a love and a rebalancing. Okay, so those are great cards for the US. It it it's not going to be the be all and end all. It's a difficult process to recouple, decouple. But it is telling me that um, it is going to happen. It's positive. If you want to go back and have a quick look at that again and listen to the story, I'm really pleased with that story. It's about. Uh, bringing back to the security of home. It is about rejecting uh, greed um, it, and it's very much about the return of innovation. Innovation, light bulb moments, unity, the acceptance of diversity, acceptance that there are others uh, who have a different point of view. It's going to be a complicated path. It's not going to happen uh, overnight. <laughs> 
but it will happen. Okay, so that's pretty good looking at it from the US. Let's look at it from the China's point of view. How is this US returning manufacturing to its own shores going to affect China? Now, in regards to China, there is almost, um, oh, I saw an article today that put it perfectly that um, uh, Xi Jinping, he's being, um, he's going to get a third, unprecedented, unheard of before since uh, Chairman Mao times, a third five-year term, so it'll be 15 years in total, as supreme ruler, I'm not quite sure if, what the term is, but supreme ruler of China. Uh, what's really happened is that uh, amongst the elite, those that will actually elect Xi Jinping, there has become almost like a cult following, entertainment purposes only, uh, but that's how it's being reported. What's happening is, is, though, is the regime of China, so the supreme leader and his elitist um, enablers, don't trust the people of China. There have been uh, court cases brought forward, seizing of assets, that China has trodden a very fine line between uh, communism and capitalism. Uh, they've tried to be a capitalist communist country um, and what's happened is that some have become very successful. In, uh, you've got uh, uh, companies like Alibaba, uh, you've got uh, property investment companies that have done extremely well. Um, so there are some uh, Ma I can't think of his first name, the creator of the Alibaba trading site, uh, have, have done very successfully, have become extremely wealthy. And because they have achieved this um, in recent years, allegedly, uh, they have uh, come under the ire of the uh, Chinese regime because the Chinese regime want a part of it. And... Uh, what's happening is there's become this separation of the capitalist side and the communist side and they don't like it and they want it brought back together. So certain people have uh, had their uh, monies seized, uh, they have been charged with various uh, dubious charges, uh, some have even uh, been imprisoned. So uh, there is this uh, trying to control... Um, the freedom of the people by the regime. So the regime doesn't trust the people uh, not to overthrow the regime, but the people also don't trust the regime itself. Oh, cut on the base was conflict. Conflict. Sorry, these are just as I, uh, as I shuffle. You've got conflict. You've got the elite. And it is a crossroads moment conflict with the elite and it is a crossroads moment okay so tell me how this is going to go so as I said Australia is already uh, quite significantly uh, found trade elsewhere we still send most of our uh, uh, coal and steel iron ore to China but China is uh, moving to a uh, a um, trying to move to a carbon free economy problem is is the, the demand for energy is increasing at a faster rate than they're actually converting but they are converting at a China is converting at a faster rate than uh, any other country so <laughs> it's a bit of a egg and chicken happening at the moment but there will be a stage when the supply of renewable energy will catch up with the demand for energy. So just be prepared for that. Um, okay, so Australia needs to be prepared for that. Okay, how is this decoupling, how is the taking of manufacturing back to the US going to affect China? From China's point of view, from China's point of view. Okay. So I had four cards throw, throw out at me, uh, these four. So what we've got here is we've got China, large populace. It's going to be a very busy time, telling me I'm right on target, that it's going to be 
scary for China. Scary for China. Okay, I'll keep shuffling. Keep shuffling in regards to that. Tell me, tell me guys. Tell me the story. Let me lay the whole story out in regards to the US. There's fear there. There is fear. Tell me. I'm on target that there is going to be fear. Tell me about how the US bringing manufacturing back to China is going to affect China. Tell me the story. Okay. <laughs> I had to laugh. Okay, let's start the story. It's going to happen really fast at a snail's pace. <laughs> <laughs> it's going some is going to move fast some of it is going to move slow okay it's going to happen fast china are going to be slow to react okay thank you master okay via the glass full bravery families light bulb moment trust okay Let's see what this line tells us. It's going to actually happen a lot quicker than China's going to realise and they're going to be caught out. They're going to be slow via how much bravery the relationships and the ideas is going to happen. And trust fate. Trust the destiny. Those, this is the wheel of fortune. Those that are on top are going to end up on the bottom. And those that are on the bottom are going to end up on the top. Okay. So this is just basically telling me that it's going, that it's going to happen a lot faster than China are going to realise. So it's going to happen fast. They're going, they're going to be slow to react via the bravery of this venture, this full venture. And the pulling together of the communities. It's going to be a light bulb moment and trust the de trust the fates. Okay. See where it goes. Alien. Blank card, not yet written on. Now this doesn't mean alien aliens, it means um, it's going to be alien to them. Okay, just even these four cards. It's going to be, because I'm talking from the point of China, it's going to be alien to them that this future is not yet written. It's going to be confu a confusing time. Okay. It's going to be, okay, entertainment only. It's going to be an alien blank canvas to them. They, they really don't know how, they, they don't know how they're going to move forward. It's going to be a confusing time for them. This unity of diversity is going to be under a black cloud. And out of it is going to come poverty. Now this is my jester card. In uh, medieval times, the court jester was, he was the comic of the court. And he was really the only one that could safely pass difficult messages to the king. This I'm talking about European and uh, history. He was re possibly even Chinese, but I, I'm not au fait with Chinese history in regards to this but the court jester because he did it in, in a comic way if there was a message that was going to be displeasing to the to the ruler he was the only one that had, could deliver it without risking his head being cut off okay so this is telling me that there is this, this message that needs to be passed on to the ruler but this is, it's going to be difficult for China because then it's not how they are set up and how they think. Oh, 
Okay. Again, another difficult line because we've got this go is going to be minus. It's going to um, it's going to be negative for the people of China uh, on the global stage. So this action that goes forward is going to be negative for the people of China on the global stage. It is going it is going to be the stopping of the drip feeding of the Chinese economy. We have this um, greed, corrupt, devil energy in the, in the building is going to die. Oh, it's not a bad thing. There are some that are going to be very disappointed in this. The regime that has been built is going to die. Oh, okay, entertainment only, please, <laughs> entertainment only. So the corruption and the, the patriarchal, oligarchal um, greed that built China in its current form is going to die. Thank you, Meister. Right, this rebalancing is going to be a lot of hard work. But again, this lightning is the key. It's going to be a lightning strike, but it is going to be the key. And it is about... The sharing of information, sharing between the people, the discussion between the ordinary people. The key is going to be communication between the ordinary people. There's a lot of hard work on the home front. There's going to be a lot of hard work on the home front. But this small-minded thinking is going to be in the past as they go through this transformation. Okay. Okay, the overseas is going to... The, the o reliance on overseas is going to be no longer and it's going to lead a, a downward turn in the country. Okay. Okay. However, we do have this guardian angel coming forward with funds. Okay, thank you, Meister. <laughs> he just told me it is those capitalists of China that the regime is trying to pull down that are going to save the country because they are the ones with the money. And they are, it, it is literally a crossroads that they are at but we have this feminine energy strength coming forward for the future of China. Now, feminine, feminine doesn't necessarily mean female. Feminine means community, compassion, uh, health, caring. Uh, the the uh, yin and yang are the masculine and feminine. So what it is, it's a rebalancing to the feminine energy because at the moment it's got a very masculine energy will be its strength, but they are at, going to be at this crossroads and it's going to come through communication. Base, we have the heart, which is lovely. There is fear uh, as this noise. There is going to be fear, but just hold in your heart against this fear. There is going to be noise, fear noise from the regime. But through technology, there will be this, this assistance, this joining of hands as the economy flips and things work out okay. Right, I hope that made sense. So <laughs> another point of view for the decoupling, feel free to go back and look at it. Interesting that the US had this as the first card and China's got it near the bottom. What's going to happen is it's going to... It, it, it's the country itself, because it is so large it's going to, and because it has this energy in it, uh, it is going to find itself caught out to some degree. 
it's going to be a really confusing time for China. It's not going to be an easy path, but it will get there. But the assistance will come from those that have, uh, not the government itself, but from those that um, operate in the, commu uh, in the capitalist side of uh, the Chinese economy. Okay, thank you for joining me. That went a little bit longer than normal. I hope that made sense to you um, and that you found that quite interesting. We are in a state of change at the moment. Um, <laughs> saw a fabulous quote the other day that said along the lines of uh, whenever you are accused of being woke, rest assured that means that you're not going to be caught asleep at the wheel. So... <laughs> Embrace your wokeness, embrace your liberalism, embrace your, uh, your ability to go with the flow, to change. There is only one um, guarantee. Well, aside from being born and, and dying, there is going, there's only one guarantee in this life and that things are going to change. So embrace the change, don't fight it, go with the flow. Do what you can where you can to to make this a better world because uh, you can only do what you can do. Uh, no more is expected of you and whether that is just plant a tree, whether it is a friendly hello as you're out for a walk, whether it is um, putting food in the community pantry for those that are worse off, any of those steps going and going upwards for wherever you can put your talents in is all that is expected of you as we move forward so thank you for joining me love to you all uh, make sure you vote in the u.s elections if you're over there um, be aware that the application period for the uh, um, getting your money back in the u.s uh, for your university fees etc is open so please apply uh, and take care love to you all look after yourselves bye bye